Hey guys, this is me, and as you can see, I look pretty cool. Um, this is my hat, this is my account, Linkmon99, and as you can see, this is my avatar, and my friend Fire for Mario. Oh my, ah, oh no! How did my avatar evolve from a noob to the richest player on Roblox? Today we're gonna find that out, and more. What's up Link Mob? Linkmon 99 here. If you guys are new, join the Link Mob today. Click subscribe, smash that like button, and click the bell to turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos from here on out. Also guys, cop some Link Mob merch in the description below and join the Link Mob. Alright guys, so I saw a lot of other YouTubers doing videos that were like my Roblox Avatar Evolution. And I thought, what a great video idea because who could do it better than the richest Robloxian because you actually get to see how I went from nothing to basically the top of the game and having every item. So I decided I would show you guys my outfits as I went from being basically a noob to having the most stuff in the game. And I thought it'd be really interesting to show you guys the progress and prove to you guys that anyone can do anything as long as they keep at it and work hard. So our journey begins in 2008. So if you guys want to find out the full story of how I found Roblox and everything I did in the beginning, I've actually made a video on that and here it is right here. So make sure you guys check that out. But today we're going to be talking about, of course, like I said, the avatar evolution through the years. Back when I first found Roblox, the site looked kind of like this and everything was really old. Uh, I found Roblox off my website that I made and there was an ad running on that website and I clicked on it, it brought me here. And I played a random Roblox game and I looked like this. I was just a guest. I have no footage of me in particular, but this is what a guest used to look like back in 2008. In 2009, I finally made my Roblox account. And this is how it looked like. I was pretty much a noob because all I had was a few tickets, which ticks or whatever, they're gone now. But that's how I bought my items. You'd get 10 tickets every day. And basically, I had this 2009 visor. And that's about all I had on Linkmon, so that's about all I could wear. Now, I kind of quit between 2009 and 2010. I played for a little bit, and then I quit for a year. And I don't know how I remembered, but somehow I ended up coming back on Roblox about a year later in early 2010, as you can see from my messages. As you can see here, I chatted a lot in 2009 after I'd made my account. Because 2008, I was a guest. 2009, I made my account. I didn't really do anything for a while. I came back a little bit in the in the winter, but just not much until around, uh, it looks like about a, a year later in February 2010, I became really active again and started playing with some of my real life friends. So at this point in 2010, I finally purchased Builders Club and I've had it ever since. So I bought Turbo Builders Club. As you can see, this is a screenshot of my profile back in the day and it's from web.archive.org. I had Turbo Builders Club at first, so I, my profile pic isn't loading, but I have some footage of games I played in 2010. So here's me in a game in 2010. It's this base defense game. I was a pretty bad player, as you can tell, because I die a lot. Huh, <laughs> right there, dead. So yeah, <laughs> it's funny. And this is me with a shirt I created. I'm playing a boat game with my friend Swat Shop. And this is me in a Kingdoms Tycoon game, also in 2010, and as you can tell, I was a pretty big noob. <laughs> now, I have no uh, pictures of my profile from 2011, however, I have some in-game footage as you can see. This is what I looked like. I also Here's me in my uh, good or evil obby. It's still on my games, but it's kind of broken now. As you can see, still rocking that Toon Link shirt, but I have some new hats to my name. Here's me in a game where some guy has an admin orb, he's trying to kill me, I have this dragon head on, and uh, yeah, and uh, here's my profile in October 2011, and I had just bought the dark seed as you can see. So I experiment, I started experimenting more with my look because at this point I had Outrageous Builders Club and I started to buy and sell limited items towards the end of 2010 and in 2011, so I was starting to collect a good amount. 
Now, things really changed for my avatar in 2012. As you can see here, this is a snapshot from January 27th, 2012. And as you can see, I have the Sparkle Time Gold Fedora. And that's because, thanks to the fact that, see, my game started to get popular, my beach hangout got like 14,000 visits and it was a BC only game. So each time someone would visit the game, I got 10 tickets, like one Robux. So basically by people playing this game, I got 14,000 Robux. And also I had a VIP and it sold a lot. And basically um, things were a lot cheaper then. So I managed to actually get the gold sparkle time with for 80,000 robux and this was my my favorite hat as you can see I also had the blue steel domino crown and it's really cool this stuff doesn't work but yeah you can see that's how my profile used to look now a few months later as you can see I still have basically the same look I bought some better sheets and a better face but I was really rocking that gold sparkle time fedora it just was my favorite hat at the time although as you can see here I had a goal to get to the airy pumpkin head, which was about a million Robux at the time. We'll skip ahead a few months towards the end of 2012, and this is me. I have the red grind and the red tango, as you can see here, and I'm actually playing a game with Shaletsky. Right now. now we skip to 2013. So as you can see here, I actually have the dark heart, and at that time, the dark heart was way more hype than it is now because. It was the best sword and there was no dual dark hearts and back then gear f fighting was a really big community on Roblox. People would go on games and fight. So this was the sword to have. So basically this sword was worth almost as much as the Dominus Infernus. And then I also had this cool hat and Azrath Lore of the Void and honestly that's a pretty cool look. I like it a lot. I was telling you guys, <laughs> subscribe on YouTube, link on 99 That's when I had like... 400 subs or less I'm not even kidding now by this point it had been about a year since my games had gotten popular and, and they weren't really doing well anymore however I was like a full-time trader and I was still getting a lot of money from OBC they had a thing where you would get three times as much robux a day so 180 with OBC if you kept your membership from expiring at this point I think I had bought lifetime membership which I don't think you can do anymore I had bought it and as you can see there's my red grind I really love that hat and yeah I was a trader now so I kept getting new stuff and I like to change my look a lot so every time I go my avatar would evolve but basically the general thing would be I would have a sword I like to have the tango face glass like sunglasses and then some kind of hat jump ahead a year 2014 I finally had a Dominus Infernus to my name by the way guys if you're interested in like the trading side of things I have other videos on that I'll link them above this is just the evolution of how my character changed but anyways I finally got the Dominus Infernus and the funny thing is this look right here I still have it saved yeah here it is right here so like four years later I still use it it looks a little different actually because of the way the lighting has changed but it's literally the same look as you can see. I haven't changed it much, so I really like to want this one. And I'd say this is definitely a signature look of mine. Also, it says my net worth slash value is about 20 million Robux, and now it's about 80 million Robux. So since 2015, I've taken that number and multiplied it by four, basically, by getting a lot more items and stuff. So that's pretty cool. 2016, I was like the richest user, but. Um, I guess I wasn't quite the highest because Shedletsky's account, Stickmaster Luke, and a couple in Roblox, you know, and Merely still had more than me, but he was an admin. So this is when I was like ranked number five, I guess. I finally had gone up there. And as you can see, I still really like this look. And now, guys, as you can see, I have so many different avatars to pick from. I don't really know what I've evolved into now because of this. I'd say my favorite ones are still this, but also I really like this one, and I really like this one. And all these, these are like my signature outfits. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed watching that evolution. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button, smash that like button, and click the bell to turn on notifications. I will see you all later.